getting a few questions recently about, once again, how to get the engine RPM, engine coolant temperature, and battery voltage on a Cadillac DeVille, where you have to trick the gauge cluster into thinking it is actually a Seville. I made a video about this about, well, it must have been about a year ago now. Uh, to the viewers that watched that video, uh, it the video was rec uh, recorded back in a time where we only get about three hours of daylight here, literally. <laughs> so I thought I'd make a better explanation on how this works and how you can get your engine RPM, engine coolant temperature, and battery voltage. First, what you're going to want to do is turn the key to the on position. Okay, so once you got your key on, please forgive me if the gauge cluster looks like it is flickering. Uh, that is the camera's fault. Uh, it's just the lens can't focus in on it. Okay, so I'm going to shift into neutral so you can see the buttons here. Um, first, what you're going to want to do is your off and warmer button. You're going to want to log into the onboard diagnostic. Very simple. Just hold these two buttons at the same time until you get this. Okay, a lot of people already know about this. Now you're going to get all your codes, right? So we got P065, which is history, meaning when it says history, uh, the code didn't show up the last time it, the uh, diagnostic went through. Current means that this is what's happening now. There's a fault with whatever that was. I didn't get to catch a glimpse of it. So we're going to let it go through. We're going to let it cycle. T033, that's traction control. I believe that's the left rear anti-lock sensor. Anyway, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. Once it cycles through, you're going to want to cycle over to IPC instrument okay instrument panel cluster okay and now we're gonna want to and the way you do this is you use your down button right like uh, okay see there's air conditioner programmer see I'm just pushing on the down button supplemental inflatable restraint traction control system powertrain control module okay now this is where we want to stay now to log into this particular partition what we're going to want to do is hit our up button on our fan control okay so when you get over to the IPC partition or sub menu whatever you want to call it we're going to go and use our up button on our fan control then we're going to want to use our down button now we're in our our particular uh, sub menu if you want to call it that we're in the instrument panel cluster this is where we want to stay so what we're going to do now is use our down button on the fan control to scroll over until we get to IPC override. Now hit the up button on your fan control. Now you're going to have a value here, IS00. Use your down button now on your fan control to scroll over until you see IS07. And you're going to have a value there of, now see mine has already been done. You're going to either have a value of 000, 016, or 032. What you're going to want to do here is use your warmer and cooler buttons to change this value. What you're going to want to do is add 32 to the number that is showing here. So if you have, for example, 000, uh, good chance you don't. I have yet to see a DeVille with 000 as a value. You're either going to see 016 or 032 here. But if yours says 000, what you're going to want to do is add 32 to that. So you're going to get 032. And all you have to do to get that is push down on the cooler button to make it go down, or up on the warmer button to make it go up. Very simple. So all you have to do is add 32 to whatever value you have here. Okay. I thought I'd make a quick example. Now, 016 is the number that I seen once I first did this to my vehicle. Uh, you're, you might have 032 or 016, it's hard to say. So, all you have to do, very straightforward, is use your up button. 016, add 32 to that, equals 048. If you're not good at math, you might want to get a calculator. 
because if you input a incorrect value here, you could potentially screw up your gauge cluster. So you want to make sure that you get this right. Like say for example, if you have one incorrect number here, you could potentially screw up your gauge cluster. And if you do, it's done. You will not be able to repair it. You will, ha you will have to take it out of the vehicle and send it away either to your GM dealership or somewhere and have them rebuild the cluster. You will not be able to fix this. So now it's the time to save your inputs. All you have to do is hold the economy and front to frost at the same time. Just press them. It might take about three or four seconds. The display is going to flash once, let off, then you know your inputs are saved. And now you can go ahead and enjoy all your new fancy features. Okay, so when you're done, all you have to do is push off a few times. There you go, you got your engine RPM, cycle through your information uh, tab here, hit information a few times, there you go, 115 degree Fahrenheit coolant temperature. Uh, the car, I just took it out for a short little drive, it didn't have enough time to get to operating temperature. Hit the information again, there you go, battery voltage, if I start the vehicle, battery voltage is going to increase. Uh, sometimes it'll go around almost close to 13 volts, which is normal. That means the alternator is doing its job. 13.5 battery volts, so, you know, it's typical for it to do that. So we know that that system is functioning. We know that the air ride isn't, but at least the alternator is charging the battery. So, there's your average miles per gallon. Every DeVille and Seville and El Dorado have that. And fuel used. 34.6 gallons is what the car thinks the amount of fuel that passed by the fuel rail so you know and then you got your timer so and your oil life you know every vehicle has that your and there you go you got your engine RPM and all I'm doing is cycling through the information tab right now so you'll have all of that there all right so now I'm sorry to say but there is no code or anything for the fuel used there's just nothing there, so there's no code for that. I know a lot of you have been asking me about it, but there is not a code for that whatsoever, so I'm sorry to say. And it's not accurate anyway, so you don't want it. There you go. Very easy. I'm not saying by any means on this task that it's so easy your mother-in-law can do it. You might want to do this one yourself. <laughs> 